Hi everyone, it's Heather at Little Bird Blythe. Today I'm doing a quick video to show you how to make one of these little unicorn headbands for your Blythe dolls. Uh, when I originally made this I used wire inside and I um, surrounded it with some gorgeous fluffy wool um, so that it fit my doll um, perfectly. Um, however, these days you can get these ready-made headbands. I'm going to use one of these today. Uh, they're readily available from eBay, uh, probably Etsy as well. Uh, they don't cost much, it's just you know probably a couple of pounds each, maybe less than that, um, if you buy in bulk. And um, this is what I'm going to use today. So these are the materials we need. Uh, some white felt, and I've got mine into a circle and that's to help me make the uh, unicorn horn shape and also some little um, sort of teardrop shapes or raindrop shapes um, one slightly larger in white felt and a tinier one to go in the middle in pink felt and that makes the little ears if we pinch at the bottom like that. Uh, you're also going to need some sewing thread or hot glue if you prefer not to sew um, and some stuffing uh, which is um, sort of for soft toys and a pair of scissors. So in order to make the horn you can use a round circle of felt and you don't need all of this. I'm actually going to cut, cut it in half and I only want a portion of this so I'm going to make a cone with it, quite a high cone. So uh, what I'm going to do is just take a small portion of the circle and then I'm going to sew up the side like that and then fill it with the fibre inside like that. So let's pop a little knot. Oops, oh I've already done it. Uh -huh. Just prepared. So we shall start at the top. thread and I'm going to sew down the side of my soon to be cone. to do now Oops. just open that up and pop some fibre filling to the cone and you might need some help with this so a little skewer a pencil or something works quite well get it right up to the top
we're going to do is get an extra piece of felt, make a little circle the same size as the base approximately. and then we're going to sew around there about so about halfway round about halfway round that's when we're going to just slip the base over you have to keep pushing your stuffing back in the headband Oops. and then we're going to keep sewing so if you don't get it over there that's it and then we're going to keep sewing it in place Now you could use hot glue and just stick it on if you like, but as I've got the thread out I may as well do this. Oops. going to take it over there and I'm going to try and pick up, I don't want it to slide around actually, I think I managed to catch a bit of it, so that it doesn't slide around, I'm just going to catch a little bit of the ribbon. Take that to the other side, just catch a little bit of the ribbon on this side as well. That way it's not going to slide around. It's quite stuck quite fast there. It's marvellous. Now we can pretty this up with some flowers around the edge. Um, so don't worry if your sewing's not very neat or if you've glued it and it, it looks a bit dodgy. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Right now, in order to create the um, the sort of horn look, you can see there's almost like sort of a helter skelter sort of look. We take the thread and we just loop it around the horn until it gets to the top. So you can see that makes a nice sort of indentation. So let's try that a little bit more. The more you pull it, the more of an indentation it's going to make. So there we go. Oops. and then you're going to finish off by popping the thread through the horn and just anchor off your thread by going through your felt a few times doing it on camera you might be able to concentrate a bit more. Alright so I'm just going to take that out the side and just snip it off. There we go. Right so that's my basic horn. 
and I'll need to re-thread. going to do now is make a little fold in the bottom of the ears so I've just added the thread on there and just anchored it in then we're going to pinch the bottom and we're just going to sew there we go. just to make the ear shape like that and then very easily, hopefully, even though we're on camera. It's going to attach that ear to the headband. Again, you could easily do this using hot glue. a bit of the ribbon underneath and then taking it through the ear. So now I've done that I'm going to just anchor that with a few stitches different directions okay and then snip that that in white thread so you can see it so but if you wanted if you didn't want to see it and you're using a pink headband obviously you could use pink thread and like I say we can add some little pretty flowers around there um, afterwards so we do exactly the same with the other ear together and the ear shape and then we're going to attach it around there on the headband. Picking up a little bit of the ribbon as we go. anchor that off and snip that right. don't lose your needle stick that in there. So there you go, that's a very basic, easy uh, unicorn headband for your Blythe dolls. Um, 
I probably will have a bit of a play later and see if I can add some flowers and I'll probably do that using hot glue um, just for ease but obviously you can sew those on as well. Uh, I tend to use paper flowers for all sorts of things. Um, I think I've sewn mine on but obviously if you were using hot glue you could just glue that um, ear down a little bit better or if you weren't in such a rush because you're doing a video you could sew the ears on a bit better there and make it a much more professional job but basically that's it nice quick easy way of making a pretty little headband for your blind dolls hope you enjoyed that um, if you like dolly videos and how-to videos then please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you're told when I upload uh, new videos and um, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching this. Thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!